scared who I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. Do you have any plans for the future? Um, see, I'm a free agent now, and, and really that's being a nobody. Nobody's looked at me yet. Nobody has. <laughs> Look at this fucking butt tea, bro. Look at this butt tea. Yeah, Pleasure to see you as well. Hey there, how you I'm not shaking your hand, bro. You're a Why fucking piece of shit, man. Why is that, sir? You fucked up the entire country. You got our buddy over there. Yeah, but how, what, what, how, how did I mess up this country? Can anybody afford a home in this yes. day? You're charging p people carbon tax. You yes. got nine you know V8s here idling you know for 30 minutes. Tax? Your carbon you footprint is increasing. We're getting charged for what? You know what we're doing? It's with not the stopping. Tax? No, we're putting a price uh -huh. on pollution, right? And we're returning it to families right. like yours. I don't yours. think so. You're we sending are. it over it's to Ukraine, right? No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You send it over to the guy that you oh, with that slaughtered been, his own country. You've been listening to Putin, oh. have you? Putin? No, no. We definitely don't listen to 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 your propaganda, eh? You got propaganda, bro. Fuck your piece of shit, man. Fuck your dumbass. Get the fuck out of here! Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. You understand me? Welcome back to the show. Shit, 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 shit. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I, I gotta get like some kind of carpet. Yeah, this hardwood floor is not. It's not doing it. Um, welcome, welcome. Uh, if it's your first time here, consider subscribing. <sighs> But if you made it this far, all I need you to do is like the video. That's it. Not too hard. Pretty simple. A lot of you have been asking, uh, Darth, where have you been? I've been having withdrawals. I need my Darth contents. Well, if you haven't been paying attention, um, I've been trying to grow my second channel. Well, well, it's my third. I'm still in the legal dispute with my second channel, but that's not here nor there. Um, so technically, it's my third channel. But who's counting? I sure ain't. Aren't. Aren't. I'm sure not. I'm not sure what the correct phrasing of that. Anyways, um, but if you want to find more content, please feel free to go over to my third channel and get your Darth News fix on. There's like 10 videos that I've posted in between the last video on Darth News and this one. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Nom, 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 nom. Go eat up that content, you 10 second toms. Hi, I'm Tom. Here's your change. Hi, I'm Tom. Yeah, you told me. You dirty little content sluts. Go get it. All right, I'll be down in 10 minutes. Get ready. You better start stretching. I'm gonna fucking wear you out, dumbass. 10 minutes, parking lot, pussy. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Go. Go subscribe. I posted a video and I lost like... <laughs> Enough to notice. This is the first time I had a a decline. I must have ruffled some feathers. Yeah, I must have pissed off some squatters. <sighs> yeah, if you're squatting in someone's home and you're watching this on your phone using their Wi-Fi and they don't know you're there, <sighs> kill yours. Incoming care package. Pro tip: Don't try grabbing something moving at that trajectory. Fuck it. I don't care. Two episodes. Dyslexic. Yeah, slightly dyslexic. Like I, I mix up numbers a lot and some number some numbers. Uh, some numbers and letters. Words. Got some materials. I wanna bolt. <sighs> Alright, welcome back to a brand new special edition episode of Everybody Loves Johnny. I'm just kidding. I gotcha. Had you going for a minute. If you're new here, you might not get the reference. That's too bad. You see, here's the thing. Even though I don't talk about Johnny anymore, it's always good to just sprinkle some nostalgia on the fans. You know what I mean? Assuming there is a a fan. I have a fan. It's right here. I could turn it on. It's getting kind of hot. I love seeing climate activists that are blocking freeways get their asses dragged across the pavement. That's what I love seeing. And that's exactly what happened in Portugal. A bunch of climate activists sat in the middle of the freeway blocking traffic on a freeway. 
I mean, it, <laughs> and they got dragged away, right? The people, the people of Portugal were not having this bullshit. No, sir. They weren't, they weren't, not today. Now, I know people are saying, oh, but they're just being so mean. They don't need to get physical. Violence is not the answers. Uh, well, yeah, neither is ending up under an 18-wheeler. That that's, doesn't sound like an, the answer either. If anything, the people who dragged these activists off the freeway uh, saved their lives, as far as I'm concerned. They just saved everybody's lives. Lives. Applejack, hit it! So yeah, I mean, honestly, I think we can all learn a lot of valuable lessons from watching and reviewing these uh, these video clips and video clips like this. Um, you know, that this was like a one-two step how-to guide to handle climate communist cocksuckers that are blocking potentially ambulances, 911 calls, someone's late to work and they've been late a lot and this is like the last chance to make it on time and if they're late like it was like yesterday their boss said if you're late tomorrow you're fired and it's like really dude you're an asshole he was trying to make it to work but now because of you and your stupid little fucking pouty tantrums on the fucking highway of death he's gonna lose his job so who's the asshole so this next one really really pisses me off and it pisses me off even more than the climate activists. And that is <laughs> one hard, hard cake to, to topple. One hard. Look, I don't really know where I'm going with that, with that. <laughs> uh, oopsie. But this next one legitimately does piss me off. All right. It, it, when I see this Gen Z, this, degeneration of kids delving into the you know, the life of crime because they can get away with it. What pisses me off is when I see these kids who fucking know better attack an elderly person. And this person that was attacked was riding around in his electric wheelchair when they robbed him. They didn't attack him. They didn't beat him up. But they stole his shit. And it's like, yo, like how fucked, how evil are you, dude? You're going to steal from a, from a handicapped dude? You're going to rob a dude in a wheelchair. Oh, well, if there is a hell, I know where you're going. You see, we should be raising our kids to, to help the weak, to look out for the weak, to protect the weak, which includes the young, the elderly, the disabled, anybody who can't protect. We're supposed to look out for one another. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Let's watch the video. Ain't that just sad? I mean, it's like, it's not like it was that bad. The fact that, I mean, I get it because a disabled person is obviously a, an easy hit. It's like, you're not going to chase me. So I, I get why they do it. I get why they target the weak, but it's, it's just pathetic.
I think I think I'm done ranting. Oh, you know what though? But like all these fucking climate activists on the topic of climate act change and bullshit. Look, these climate elitists that these global climate globalists that are running the world that oh we must have green energy. You'll be eating the bugs. All these motherfuckers saying the that the Hawaii shit, the the fires was climate change, that every hurricane is climate change. It rained in LA, climate change. These fucking people are the ones controlling the goddamn weather. Problem, creation, solution. They create the problem, they create the solution, and you just take it all in, hook, line, and sinker. And believe me, my friends, it is not a conspiracy. The government is able to control the weather. This is a proven fact. It's been provable for the last 50 years. So these people crying climate change are the ones changing the climate to create a problem, to make you go, Ree! anyways, demonetized. So if you want to support the content, you know, you can feel free to go to my cash app, merch store, Patreon. And if you donate just $1 one time, hopefully more than one time, but if you just once, you will earn your name in the credits of my videos forever. I'm going to do my best to make sure I add credits. The producers of this show, the fucking bloodline that keeps this heart pumping. So if you want to support the content, you can go to the links in the description below and support the content. <laughs> Cash app, merch store, Patreon, whatever. I'm going to have new merch designs coming soon. Um, I also have some other big news coming soon. Hmm. Like life changing shit. And that's not being funny. It's life, I mean, life is funny, but yeah, I'll tell you about it soon. It's going to significantly affect this channel. I'm not trying to freak you out, but. I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make a whole video about about that. Until we meet again, don't forget to pull out. That's P O O fucking L. And as always, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. <sighs> stay safe, stay sexy, stay healthy. Stay weird. Stay hard. Unless you're a woman a, you have a vagina then I can't be in this environment because I just graduated in anger management. I can't be in this environment. But most importantly, this is a genderless saying. Okay, this this is this applies to everybody, including the non-binaries. Stay Darth. You know I was gonna say it. You knew, you knew. Yeah, but what if it keeps getting worse? I might keep getting worse. What if that's really what hell is? What if hell is the trick that you're scared to die, so you sign up to be a part of this cyborg program, and you literally lose your soul? Yeah. Your soul gets transplanted into a machine forever, and it's the devil's trick. And it's just you looking at TikTok all day. Just... been able to tell anybody this but I'm fucking relieved really it was a tremendous drag on my emotions on my thoughts about the future I mean to begin with every morning I wake up thinking is today the day that one of my best friends is gonna dime me to the FBI and a weak fucking sniveling lying drug addict that's the worst kind of bet the biggest blunder of my career is now gone and I don't have to be confronted by that fact no more. That as a relative, a friend, someone you can count on. I see. Let me tell you something. I murdered friends before, even relatives. My cousin Tony, my best friend, Bush. But this? I hate this fucking shit! After all the complaining and the crying and all the fucking bullshit. <laughs>